always think that the composer, if he's good, pays a lot of attention to the language. Every language has its own rhythm. Every language has its own phrase lengths. It has its own vowel colors. It has its own characteristic. And the composers reflect that in the way they said it. Rachmaninoff grew up in a religious milieu. He heard these words and these chants, these types sung in, in his uh, parish church week after week after week. And I think when he was setting it, he had the words in mind. He wasn't just abstractly making pretty melodies. He did plenty of that in his piano music. But in this, he, he was really trying to get the words across. Pobeditil Maya. Pobeditil Maya. And that repeats. And the next one is at the top of the next page. Yako is Babushisya Otzlich. Drew Boshardi was an undergraduate at the University of Chicago. He sang from his first year in my men's group, Chicago Men's A Cappella, and I became aware immediately not only of his linguistic ability, which was pretty extraordinary, but also of his really fine voice. Um, so it's Borge, and don't make, make sure you're not singing Borge. Don't, don't tack a Y on the end of it. Same goes for, the moi is a little too moi. It's like you're sing, singing, you're adding an E to the end of it. It's just moi. It's, it's kind of like you're just singing more. Drew is one of us. He knows the kind of mistakes we're going to make. He's familiar with the, the Midwestern regional dialect that we all, he himself is from downstate Illinois. He knows how flat our vowels are and how flat our palates are. And, and uh, so he's listening for the problems we're likely to have. And when he speaks the language to us, it's much easier for us to copy it right on the spot. It's, it's, it's a huge leap. Get your eyes off the page and just hear it and, and print it, imprint it in your, in your brain. I'll stand up behind Bruce. Um, occasionally, I'll read off some sections of the piece, and they'll read it back, and, and kind of I'll critique based on that. Uh, but really, it's, it's much easier for me to, to help out if, they, if I hear them sing it. When you speak a language and then sing it, it's a different, you, you do different things. Some speech impediments disappear when people sing. It's, it's a very different way of, of phonating or you know, making noises. And when you, you can say it, you can speak it perfectly, but when you sing it, it's a much different story because either you're focusing on multiple things like your pitch and um, intonation and all that kind of thing, and pronunciation kind of falls by the wayside. Um, so it's much easier for me to just sit back and kind of listen after, you know, introducing the actual text to them and critiquing based on that. More recently, as we're getting more and more into the piece, I can sit back and kind of listen a little bit more. They're picking up a lot of stuff and it's like 90% of the way there. Uh, but occasionally I'll hear something and, and kind of raise my hand and say, hey, you, if you could say this a little differently, you say it this way or um, you're not rolling your R's properly, you're not, you're aspirating your T's, all that kind of thing. A typical kind of rehearsal, we'll start out with a little bit of language. Bruce will either have them singing it in a simple chord, and, and I can listen based on that, which helps, and it's easier to pick out some of the, the really easy things to check off, like roll your R's, you know, or this, you're not saying this vowel just right, um, because they're still actually singing. But once you start singing the piece and have to worry about your, your line and um, your intonation and, and how you fit in with the rest of the group, you, it, they lose their focus a little bit, and you kind of have to reinforce. The Bruce is very, very focused on having very good pronunciation. He said from the very beginning that one of the biggest focuses we're going to take is the language. The, the, the A is. It's, it's, in, in some cases it's really hard to distinguish the difference. People won't the notice the, the, they won't overtly notice the, the difference in the T's or you know the soft versus hard consonants. They won't know what the, those things are in many cases or even when they're sung. But there is that subconscious kind of, you hear it and you, you hear these guys know what they're doing. This sounds authentic. They are hearing a complete work of art when they hear it. They're hearing the sounds that the composer heard. 
They're hearing the accents the composer heard. They're hearing the phrases that the composer was setting. I hope when they hear it, they won't consciously hear the things we've been working on, but they'll think, wow, that's, that sounds like a bunch of Russians singing.